Well, I've uh, just um, gone on board the Stella Line ferry uh, to go through to the Hook of Holland and beautiful cabin. And as you can see behind me, I have a window view. Can't see much at the night at the moment because it's a nighttime crossing and I do badly need a shave. But uh, just give you a, a quick view around the cabin. So we'll turn that back. So as you see, we have TV and nice spacious cabin. We have a single and a double in this cabin and somewhere to hang all your bits. Emergency procedure should this cabin decide or the ship decide to do the Titanic and go down. And we have a very spacious and luxurious bathroom with the shower, sink and obviously the most important thing, the toilet. So there we go, there's the the cabin. Um, we're going to go up on top deck in a minute. Um, we're meeting at nine o'clock, so have drinks and some food. So I'm going to have a quick shave and freshen up, and I'll see you upstairs. This is one of the restaurant areas on board the ship, and as you see, we have the shop at the side as well. So you can buy lots of goodies from the shop with the customer service and bar over the back there. We're on the bridge tour now, as you can see out there. We're a long way up. Um, we've got the captain over there, so we'll go say hello to Captain in a minute and show you the bridge. So, there we go. There's our captain over there, looking after us, keeping us safe, keeping us away from all the icebergs. And the uh, very nice. Excuse me. Thank you. The control station. Yeah. Thank you. Seats, uh, oh, yes. Drive-by joystick. Another 15 minutes of fame. Another one. Yes. Hello. 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 Yeah, the magic is happening. Of course. Cool. I will. Uh, yeah, this one is delivered in uh, uh, May, so she's almost three years old now. And we're going to have followed uh, in September of that year. Uh, they are the, for us here on the North Sea, the oldest ships that we run, operate. The fleet is the oldest? Yes. Wow. So the rest yeah. of the fleet is even newer which is really brand new for ferries. Um, we have six ships that we operate here on the North Sea. Uh, these two road parks, uh, say road, road passenger ferries, and two freight ferries uh, that are laying uh, behind us here and to the Europort, and two road parks ferries to Kilholm, but only with accompanied freight to move this, say, uh, normal passengers. Um, I'm afraid uh, Hollandica and Britannica are the largest ferries in the world. Uh, on passengers, we take about 1,200, which is, well, say, an average size ferry. Uh, so the main income part of the ferry, of, like the Hollandica Britannica, is from freight, and the passengers are the nice extra part. Um, we do crossings uh, from six and a half hours in the daytime and seven and a half in the night time. Uh, the distance from here to Cotonou is uh, just over 200 kilometers, that's not so far. Uh, in the daytime we travel at a speed of 35 kilometers an hour, uh, that is, uh, is it in miles. So 20, 20, 20, 20 miles. And in the night time we do it a bit slower. Of course everybody wants to use his cabin a little bit longer than six hours. So average passengers are on board uh, in the daytime eight hours, in the nighttime ten hours. Uh, the concept that we do is uh, is trying to uh, for the passengers bring them in uh, quite comfortable cabins, good size, good atmosphere, quiet and so on, uh, to Copeland. And uh, we have 
two restaurants for passengers, one for the drivers, a couple of bars, and a small cinema, but, uh, and a shop, but not, say, discotheques and that kind of thing. So you will find out that tonight uh, quite nice. it's quite quiet on board, uh, and people have a comfortable uh, crossing. Tonight there is a bit of wind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 but you mean a bit? Which is a bit lot. Uh, quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we have luck it's coming from that ahead. That yeah. means that it will still us. be uh, quite comfortable. Mm -hmm. Not too many waves that will make us roll or anything. The ship is equipped with stabilizers. And uh, if you start rolling, you put them out. But I don't think it will be too rough for you. If you need help, let me start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the middle one is a screen with all kinds of data uh, speed, this wind, uh, propellers, that kind of thing. And these are the uh, electronic charts, uh, like the navigation system in a car. Then in the middle you see the controls for the engines, it's these four panels, we have four main engines, they are connected to two propellers. Uh, the propellers are with the small uh, stainless steel sticks. So full head is you just push them full forward. When the engines run you get full head. Full stern is just the other way. Then the small lever next to it is the two bow thrusters that we use for maneuvering. Total amount of power in the ship uh, is 46,000 brake horsepower. I cannot. <laughs> and during maneuvering, 9,000 is going to the two propellers here, the bow thrusters. Steering is done in port uh, by a small wheel. <laughs> Just let me know. As you see, it's a very small wheel, it goes quite <laughs> easy, but we have power steering, so. Uh, <laughs> Actually, if you need help, let me know. Yeah, you just turn it. Like, so get it. <laughs> 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 and let's see, we steer with these small wheels here. Yeah, you just turn it. It goes very easy. Wow. It's is this? It's is it Rolls Royce equipment or Rolls Royce engines? <laughs> and you see the Rolls Royce logo. Yeah. yeah. Rolls Royce is a very big company. Uh, they have. For this ship, it's the winches and it is the uh, steering gear. The main engine is uh, MAN, which is German, and the propellers is uh, Alpha, which is a sister company of MAN. As Wachila nowadays is, I think, a sister company of Rolls Royce. So yeah, all in Tibet now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have autopilot? That small wheel was the autopilot. Okay, so and we have two of them. <laughs> if somebody fell overboard and you needed to turn the ship round, how long does it take the ship to actually turn around then? Um, a full swing at the spot you can do in three and a half minutes. Oh, Would oh, you actually wow. turn around to go and get somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Are you planning to jump? <laughs> <laughs> If you're planning to jump, then I'll please, give you a head then, start. Then, then please put your shoes at the railing and leave them there. <laughs> no then we don't turn around. Okay. <laughs> if the shoes are I'll even know this well, don't bother. <laughs> 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 Sorry, when do you, when but, do you but actually it, it takes about 15 minutes uh, to turn around. But do you turn and around so if cold, something happened? But, uh, <laughs> but it takes about 15 minutes to turn around and be at the same spot again. Okay. And in this type of water, you'd last for you need an awful lot of last. fat on your body to survive longer than 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> 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 I would suggest not to bed and sleep. <laughs> 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 you were in the back. <laughs> Nobody's planning, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's 
it's uh, ten past one in the morning, and uh, so we tied into the cabin. But don't know if you can hear that on the camera. There's some horrible noise coming from outside the window. It, um, sounds like somebody's actually trying to get in, but uh, we're way up aboard the ship, so I have no idea what that is. Um, just hoping that uh, I can get some sleep with that noise going on. So we'll go, we'll get some sleep and uh, we'll see you folks tomorrow when we're in Holland. Good morning, it's now 5.52 local time or 6.42 as it is over here. Um, quite under good night's sleep but apart from that noise that was banging outside the window, as you can see I have a, a lovely view of the sea from our window here. Um, the only one thing is on this ship, as with most of us, once you get into uh, open sea, it's then 99 pence a minute to 1.99 a minute on the old mobiles. So if you are out at sea, very weary on uh, what calls you make or receive uh, while there. Um, just got the call for breakfast, so we're going to go up now and have breakfast. The, uh, the meal last night was very, very nice, um, well served and um, a well layout, very professional and very edible. The taking all my stuff up now because uh, we'll be coming back on a different ship, so the, uh, it will be saying goodbye to the uh, Highlandica. So this is the main deck corridor area, so we were on 10, we come down here to 9. There we go, you can see there the, uh, the ship's layout. Back here. Breakfast. Uh, breakfast is a help yourself um, menu. Uh, it's, uh, you can pay for it in advance or pay for it on ship, so it depends on what you fancy. Um, I've had full English, as you can see. So, uh, nice full breakfast, uh, ready to start me on the day. Um, it's quite a nice layout here. Um, it's nice and open friendly, the staff are brilliant. Um, they're, there, they're always there to make sure that uh, what you want is what you get. So, uh, and I took it to breakfast, and... <laughs> right, good evening everybody. We're on the uh, Good Ship Britannica now. And, uh, we're at table number one, ready for dinner. Let's just give you a, a quick look at the restaurant. We're in the Metropolitan. As you can see, it's a, a very nice restaurant. I've got a, a window seat, so anything I don't like, throw out the window. That's if it opens. Um, so uh, I'm going to enjoy a lovely free course meal and uh, I'll let you know later how we got on. So you've seen this here? Yeah, yeah, I've done this, 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 this morning on the, shop on the other ship. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 What I like to know is reasonable prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. not yeah. extortionate yeah. prices, no, 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 no. Um, just because you're on ship. No, no. <laughs> what, uh, if, the, uh, if you fancy uh, a bit of a... Uh, yeah. Then uh, you can do that. Yeah. And then we're just going to quickly show you right here, because this is the truck is landing. So, right. yeah. if we go in here, quickly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this, we have, this is a separate area for truck drivers. Uh -huh. They don't... Yes. Yes, sorry. They don't come in there. Uh, so, Truck drivers, coach drivers, in yeah. a way, yeah? Ah. They, 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 so this is here. Right, so this is... Yeah, yeah. yeah so... Would you mind if we can show them the... Uh, yeah? Okay. Oh, this is a big lounge, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they've got their own machines. So, it's, guys, I just want to show you this. Yeah, this is the truck drivers' lounge. So, truck drivers, coach drivers, yeah, they have their own area. 
where they obviously have dinner, where they have the paper, the buffet style. Um, okay. And you know, what they, well, you know, they, they always prefer their own space. These guys sit in cars all day. They don't want to. Don't want to see so that's people play mingle with the. So they're quite happy just to have their own area. <coughs> I was just throwing to Michael. Your own area. There's papers, there's magazines. You can plug in your, your, your laptops, whatever you want to do. Uh, right, right. And, uh, ah. sorry, they have their own bar, so you can have a quick look inside here. Not for showing them around. Yeah. Okay. So it's plus, so there's lots of seats there, there's paper, there's food, there's stuff, isn't it? Um, yeah, I can turn the light on if you want. If you, you want, want to have a quick look, yeah? Turn yeah. the light on. Yeah, yeah. 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 you mind? There we go. Yeah. 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 Right. It's lovely, isn't it? Wow. Well, it can do, yeah. It's limited as well. Nice okay, what we're going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh. That's quite an impressive uh, sort of screen. Yeah, so you can actually, you know, if you want to sit here, you want to watch a bit of TV, you get a headphone and you can plug in, you know, the channels which are. Oh, so you just, oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. The you shit's moving. Yeah, that's it. Packing. And here you've got your free internet, you know, your free. Uh, uh, Wi-Fi and internet if you want to... Right. If you want to just... It's uh, a sort of business centre. No, you just... Can, people can use... It's not not a, such a business centre. It's just... Right. Free, people, free, anybody free, can use uh, it. Oh, it's just free Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's free Wi-Fi. You can... Yeah. Uh, you know, you can go in. You can go in. Huh? Well, and then, if you want to dare... Dare. <laughs> well, we all need to come through because the door is only open if that one is closed, so... Yeah. Uh, oh, I sorry. Okay. Let's say okay. Then you have the outside area. Uh, you can go upstairs as well. You can go round. It's impressive, round. actually, this is, isn't it? I love the side up there. <laughs> <laughs> See down there, all the hustle and bustle, getting everything off, and we've got snow here to greet us. Um, just had a full English breakfast at the Taste Bar, which is uh, very nice. Bacon a little overdone, but it's still good. Um, a great start to the day. So we're going to just chill for a bit now, and maybe have a, a drink, and uh, get ready to get the train back up to Burton. But. Uh, over and all, a brilliant weekend, um, really worthwhile coming. Um, Stella Line has really done, gone out of the way to make the crossing so relaxing, it's unbelievable. Um, gone are the days when you can imagine people sleeping in the seats. Six o'clock local time. Last orders for breakfast will be at the quarter past six local time. We also have a simple breakfast available at the Bristol Bar at the afternoon at nine. This vacation will start around half past six local time. There we go, see, so we'll be off the... Uh, oh, in a different language now. As I said before, the ship here, everything is on deck nine. And the nice thing is, is that Britannica is laid out in exactly the same way as Hollandica. So whichever ship you use to go out, um, if you come back on a different ship, then you'll be familiar with the layout because everything is the same. Everything you need service-wise is on deck nine. Um, cabins on deck 10 and 11 with all the vehicles below us. So it makes it really nice and easy to get about. Um, but uh, as you saw last night when we uh, did the tour, 
we got these, you got onboard cinema, you got a nice relaxing lounge, um, you got the internet bar at the end with free Wi-Fi, so you can get a uh, stay in contact or surf the web. Um, nice big TV, uh, widescreen TV. So there's plenty to do while you're on board here. Um, if you come on the day crossing, night crossing though is the one that I like because um, as soon as you land, your holiday starts, um, which. For the driving holiday, which most of us will probably do, it's perfect because you uh, drive down to Harwich, jump on the ferry, travel across, have a nice sleep, wake up in the morning, nice breakfast, jump in the car and then you're on the dock side for around about 8 o'clock and that's it, you're on your way. So you instantly have a full day driving um, across Europe, wherever you're going. Um, the beauty of that is it almost gives you an extra day to your holiday. So uh, well worth the extra few pounds to come by Stella Line instead of the traditional crossing um, across from Dover to Calais. Right, well I'm going to uh, have that coffee now so I'll drink my coffee and uh, I'll give you a full review when back home in Burton. So stay safe. Now, um, after a lovely trip to Holland with Stella Line. Um, do recommend the service, it was great fun. Um, the staff were there to make sure that whatever you needed to make your journey as pleasant and peaceful as possible was there. Um, they really go out of the way to, to make you feel welcome aboard the ships. Um, the trip itself into Holland was brilliant, up to the Copenhagen Gardens, excuse my pronunciation, and also over to Rotterdam and on the Sky Tower is really good fun. Um, I did plan on going back to Holland and Rotterdam to see the sights, uh, get a bit more time over there, do a bit more exploring um, and I will be using Stena Line. It's a first class service on getting across the waters. So hopefully see you all there.